Now on 7 News, the battle for the White House. President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden meet face to face tonight for their first debate, plus apologizing to the community. A new resolution passes in Spartanburg with hopes to unite the city. Live and local for Carolina's family. 7 News Carolina Morning starts now. Good Carolina morning. It's Tuesday, September 29th, 7.01 is the time. I'm Fred Cunningham. And I'm Sabila Vargas. Hope your day is getting off to a great start. Let's check your live drive traffic with Tatiana Cash. Hi, Tatiana. Morning. Things are going well for the most part, apart from a couple different hiccups this morning. I'm not seeing major delays except for one specific region here in Greenville County. There is that issue because of a crash at Augusta and Bessie Road. We are seeing speeds are as slow as eight miles per hour approaching that crash. So again, at that intersection, we are seeing some delays because of the icon. I anticipate they're actually a little bit longer in both the north and southbound direction. So give yourself that extra time elsewhere. We can see here another one. It's Partridge Lane there at Hammett Bridge Road is another problem spot, but I'm not seeing big delays. Just the typical slow go spots in the areas due to just normal congestion and elsewhere. You can see another crash is on a 176 South there, and that's the highway just off of I-85 exit 72. So give yourself that extra time. If any of these is part of your commute and honestly, as you head out the door this morning, an extra five to 10 is a best bet. Taking a look outside with our DOT camera right now, we'll show you traffic flowing nicely in both directions, but you definitely will have company. So give yourself that extra time. All right, thanks so much, Tatiana. Seven News is your local election headquarters in the eyes of the nation will be on Ohio tonight. That is where President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden square off in the first of three planned debates. It will be held in Cleveland at Case Western Reserve University. The topics are expected to include the Supreme Court battle and the COVID-19 pandemic. Analysts expect the president to attack Biden's record and his family business dealings overseas. Other political experts say that Biden should focus on his message rather than attacking the president. Name calling and bullying is um, both ineffective for uh, Trump's opponent, but I also suspect that the American people are getting fairly tired of that behavior. Live coverage from CBS News begins at 9 p.m. The two candidates are scheduled to debate again on October 15th and the 22nd. A funeral service will be held today for Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She'll be buried during a private service at Arlington National Cemetery. Ginsburg will be laid to rest next to her late husband. She was considered to be a liberal champion on the court for 27 years. Ginsburg died September 18th at the age of 87. The battle continues on Capitol Hill to fill Justice Ginsburg's seat on the Supreme Court. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham is scheduled to meet today with Judge Amy Coney Barrett. She's President Trump's nominee. Graham is chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. He plans to start Barrett's confirmation hearings on October 12th and have her confirmed by the 22nd. There's another contender joining the race for Union County Sheriff. Interim Sheriff Sam White plans to run as a write-in candidate. He joins the field with Republican Tom McAbee and Democrat Jeff Bailey. White became interim sheriff in July after Sheriff David Taylor was indicted on charges of misconduct in office. White says he can boost department morale while serving the community. Working with the deputies and talking about issues, I just really feel invigorated and uh, enjoyed it. We reached out to the other candidates. Tom McAbee tells us that he's focused on his own campaign and moving Union County forward. Jeff Bailey says that White has a right to run and wished him luck. Happening now, Greenville police are asking for your help to find a wanted man. 46-year-old Roberto Rivera is charged with burglary, and investigators say he is known to be violent. If you have seen him or have any information, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 23 Crime. Memorial services begin today for an Anderson police sergeant, Ethan Kaskin. His family will receive friends this afternoon from 5 until 9 at McDougal Funeral Home. The funeral will be held tomorrow morning beginning at 11 at the Anderson Civic Center. Kaskin died in a crash last Friday. We're working to find out more about a possible procession route. We'll have more updates both on air and online. And upstate city's leaders are working to end discriminatory practices. Last night, Spartanburg City Council unanimously passed a resolution calling for racial equity. Council member Megan Smith started work on the resolution in June after the death of George Floyd. Smith says the address this addresses the city's role in perpetuating systemic racism. 
We hope that recognizing that, expressing remorse for it, acknowledging that will be a step to help rebuild some trust in those communities. We are a city council that values you and that wants to use a racial equity lens as we make decisions moving forward. Smith says that the resolution is the city's way of apologizing and working towards a more united Spartanburg. Meantime, the city of Malden will spend $50,000 on diversity training. This comes after a city council member shared a social media post that some considered offensive. Malden leaders say that the money will pay for training for elected officials, city employees, and for public town hall meetings. The group Concerned Citizens for Malden says the goal is to lay out a plan that works for everyone. City leaders say that they're working to find companies to lead the training sessions. A 7 News job alert. You can apply today to work with Greenville County Schools. 7 News' Jennifer Martin is live in Greenville with that story. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, good morning, Fred. So with all the challenges that COVID-19 is creating for schools, Greenville County Schools is looking for good applicants. They need more employees, and they're having a job fair at Wadehampton High School behind me tonight from 5 to 7 p.m., so you're asked to come if you are looking for a job. It's happening, uh, like I said, from 5 to 7. They have several positions available, including bus drivers, bus driver aides, custodians, and food service workers. So if you have any questions about the jobs, you can call a hotline as well, 864-355. 3100. Now the pay for these jobs is between 10 and just under $20 an hour, but looking at two jobs specifically, the rate for a bus driver is $15 to $19 an hour. For bus aides, it's between 10 to $16 an hour. Job duties for bus drivers also involve sanitizing buses in between routes. Now all employees who work 30 hours or more per week with Greenville County Schools will qualify for benefits like health and dental insurance, sick leave, and free life insurance. Now training is provided and for those who are planning to come to this job fair tonight from 5 to 7, masks are required and also they are uh, going to social distance. So you can go to our website WSPA.com if you'd like more information on top of all of that. But again, happening here at Wade Hampton High School from 5 to 7. Live in Greenville, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. Jennifer, thank you. Sabila? All right, Fred, Fall for Greenville is still on, although the pandemic forced the festival off the streets of downtown and into the virtual world. Musical performances will now be streamed on social media. Breweries plan to hold online events to talk about their businesses, and the festival plans to sell $20 coupon books with savings at 35 Greenville restaurants. The coupons are valid from October 1st through the end of February. All profits will go to local charities. Ahead on Carolina Morning, helping people in need in the upstate. See how a nonprofit is trying to help after the pandemic shut down many organizations. And as we had to break, we'll give you a live look at the Biltmore Parkway. We've seen some showers there this morning. Overcast skies and a cool Tuesday heads our way. We'll have all the details for you coming up when we return.